Well, I'm uh, Josh Lou, and I just opened up Juliet Restaurant in Somerville uh, on February 29th. And at the same time, I'm getting myself ready for my first ever uh, USA Boxing sanctioned fight at the House of Blues. I always loved it as a kid. I kind of idolized Olympic boxers. There's like this scene of the red and the blue gloves crossing and like everything's on the line for a couple minutes at a time and all the attention's on you. It's a very individual sport, you know, one, one person against another person. I just like, I always looked up to that in terms of achievement and personal goals. Uh, and I used to train in boxing, uh, but in, as, in the off season as a wrestler, I never competed. So all my life I kind of felt like, oh, I wish I had done that. And uh, now I have the opportunity to, in front of a lot of people, it's a big event. <laughs> It's May 19th, uh, and it's called Haymakers for Hope, and it's a, it's a full card of boxing, 15 fights. All first-time boxers, though, who have been training really hard for this one big event uh, to raise a lot of money for a good cause. The event, uh, their goal is to raise almost half a million dollars, and it looks like we're pretty close to it, um, for cancer-related causes, uh, research and care initiatives. I'm personally raising money for the American Cancer Society. My grandmother, Ruth, who's still with us, uh, and the, the best fighter I've ever known. She's fought her whole life, um, and she'll be ringside, too, to, to, to see my fight. But she lost her husband very young to cancer, uh, when my father was 19, long before I was here. And he was actually an oncologist. Uh, he was a doctor working in cancer research, and you know, he lost his fight with cancer. And uh, she's been a very big supporter of the American Cancer Society ever since. You know, there's nothing to hide behind. It's one person, another person, head to head. Everybody's watching, all the attention's on you. It's, you know, you live or die two minutes at a time. Everything's on the line. You can have it all, you know, elation at the end is a victory or you lose it all and there's, there's no middle ground. And I just really like that kind of a challenge. You know, I'm really all in or all out. Like my trainer tells me all the time, he's like, no hiding in the middle. It's, the boxing is really about that for me. But also, um, what's really important about this for me is as a restaurant owner, as a chef, I've given 10 plus years of my life to this business already and it's long hours, it's seven days a week. I work sometimes 14 hours a day or more uh, as a business owner, but I also did that bef before uh, as a chef for other people. And I wouldn't take any of it back now. I'm very proud of myself and my career and happy with where I am, but I'd like to show people that maybe there's a healthier way to do it, you know, to really take some time out for your, your personal goals, some physical activity, uh, but it's not necessarily just about sports. It's about having a well-rounded lifestyle, uh, but not just little things like having real hard to achieve goals that are work related but also not work related in terms of physical fitness but also mental health mental health too. So I'm trying to provide that good example to not only my staff but the restaurant industry as a whole especially locally that hey look I'm working really hard I own my first restaurant it's a lifelong dream but I'm not ignoring these other things too because look how hard this other goal is which is equally important to me. I'm Josh I'm the owner of Juliet restaurant in Somerville's Union Square come out for breakfast lunch or dinner and talk to me about uh, the restaurant or the training or two weeks away I'd love to see you at the House of Blues ringside.